Here's the deal. Another thing for apples is you want to make simple desserts that are easy to do, that are fast, that are not, you don't need a degree in neuroscience to do. So Frankie and I are going to make an apple tart tartare ish because it's not exactly, you know, classical, but it's the same kind of thing. It's the original upside down apple pie, basically, but very simple. So first thing we have to do is crank some apples. Apple. You want to do it? Okay, go. And then we're gonna let you guys watch this thing again because this is a great little piece of equipment. So getting loose, but I'm gonna tighten it up as we go. There we go. All right, I'll take that guy off. Now, to the guy. And shoot that guy out of there. All right, ready, go. And this machine is a little quirky. And if you buy one, you'll learn the ins and outs of the little uh, the nuance of the settings, but essentially you want to make sure that this thing here is set up properly, which is what cuts the skin off. And then this thing here, this is the blade that gives you the spiral cut. I don't know who engineered this. It was probably like Benjamin Franklin or somebody, you know? I could have They've been around for a while. Okay, let's go again, Frankie. Do it. If you are uh, showing expertise with this which is really amazing to me I mean really I'm impressed the tart apples the granny smith styles tend to be firmer and are much easier to work with keep going baby and the this is more of like a gala or a fuji style and the wine saps etc they tend to be a little bit more mealy they're sweeter um, but they they're more difficult to work with with this kind of machine. That's a darker red kind. That's a darker room. This one I think is a wine sap. I can't remember though, and I should have written down the name. Sorry. And we're gonna get him off the counter. Why? Because we're going on to the next part of this process, sweetheart. So what can we do now? So now we take a knife and start a sauté pan, a non-stick pan medium heat, a goodly amount of butter. I would say three tablespoons because the butter is gonna do two things. It's going to um, obviously lubricate the pan, it's gonna caramelize, and it's gonna flavor. So there's three different Mama, things that the butter daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh no, it's an apple pan! What are we gonna do? No. All right, different. you ready? So now what we're gonna do. No, I need to do to my mama, I want to hug. Okay, Frank, you can take a little break. Do you want do you want me to wait till you come back? Yeah. Okay, so that's the joys of working with a uh, almost four-year-old kid. They they aren't as measured as you know grown-ups like us. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit of this work without Frank here. So you take these spiral-cut apples and you just split them like so. Oops. And then you start out by dredging them in cinnamon sugar. And you can see in the recipe it says cinnamon to taste, sugar to taste. But it's hard to measure exactly how much you got to do. So Frankie, we were just doing the thing about the cinnamon sugar on the apples. So you can put, take that guy and put it in there if you want. And then you just sort of shingle them out into the pan. Well, let me show you. So you go like this, pick it up in your hands, take the ends off, and then just sort of smush it in there. And you can do the next one if you want. Here, try it. Go for it. And I'm just going to shingle this around. And, you know, you don't have to... This is one of those things where you're going to get the visual effect without it being perfect. So you can just kind of go for it. And I'm going to work around Frankie a little bit here. Frankie, try to keep the thing together. That's the key to this particular process. And then you start this, I'm gonna turn it up just a teeny bit. Go for it, you're doing great. Okay, next one, please. And I'm just gonna, like I said, shingle it. And uh, when I first started doing this dessert, I was, I was really intent on having it be perfect. And that was really a pain in the neck, and it was to the exclusion of actually what ended up being good. So you're gonna get a great effect if you just do the shingling the way I've done it and not have to 
not worry about it being perfect. And then I just finish up my, oh. my circle like Daddy. so. That's okay. And if you want to make it a little bit denser, we can and we will. We're going to just go like this. Frankie, can you do the next one for me, please? Grab that next one. Hello, I was in there, so I ate it. Oh, you ate it? Oh, that's nice. Using several different varieties of apple Look, Daddy, actually helps with the complexity of the flavor. Can I eat? Absolutely. Excellent job. All right, so now you get this thing sauteing, and we're going to end up covering this with a cap of puff pastry. So you just do the shingle, like so, and then, you know, if I want to, I can kind of press them into place, but these will kind of wilt, and they'll end up being what we want them to be. I'm going to turn it up again to just a, like a high medium. And Daddy. Then, we'll, then what we're going to do, yes. Can I have a little more? Yes, you can have a little break. This is a long video, guys. Frankie, we're gonna roll this dough out. Oh, I wanna do an apple dough. Okay, good, you can do it. So what we're gonna oh, do. look how squishy this is. Ooh. We're gonna take a little bit of flour, spread it around the nice <laughs> stone countertop, and then we're gonna take this puff pastry. I don't wanna do it. Okay, do it. Feel it. Now flop it on there. Good. What you're basically going to do is you're going to roll this puff pastry out so it's a round circle that'll fit just inside the saute pan. So Francis, let's do the rolling pin thing. You ready? Yeah. Now let me line you up for it. Okay, and just roll it out. You want to press it down? I want to do it. Yeah, I know you can do it. In the meantime, your apples are cooking and they're, you want to get a nice brown caramelization going before you put it in your 350 oven. Your oven's preheated to three. Whoa, slow down just a minute. You did great, 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 great. Good. Now, I got it kind of bigger. You did. And what we want to do is we want to get it kind of bigger this way now. Uh, now I want to do that. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Pull up the rolling pin for a sec. Let me see. Okay, now look, it's perfect. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a little knife we're going to cut all around, or you can just press it like that and just pull it. But I'm going to use a knife and just kind of go around like so. Are you going to cut it out? Yes. I'm going to say, <laughs> cut it out, Frankie. Yes, like cookies. Just like cookies. This is extra. Let's do it. Oh, look at how big that is. Okay, now. I'm gonna ask you guys to come on over here and look at this a little bit closer. And you wanna take a look very closely down into here and you'll see that there's nice brown caramelization happening. So the sugar and the cinnamon has browned up underneath there. And that's, you don't wanna put this on there until that happens. So then you just drop this on top, like so. And literally toss it in the oven. Oh. I wonder and I would say 12 minutes, kind of like making cookies, so we'll put the timer on for 12. So now we can get like slow down. And now we can taste what we made. Yeah. And so then, just so you guys can see the finished product, there's this guy here. Is this? And this didn't get as much caramelization as I would like. I was kind of rushing. Daddy. But what would it do? Is, yes, you want me to cut it and give you a taste? Is that, is this the other? kind of apple one you made in here? Yes, it is. Uh, so here, you ready? Let's cut a piece for you. You ready? Yeah. Me... Into eighths. And you can see, this is just, I mean, you know, it's not earth shattering, but it certainly it makes for a nice presentation. And you can I think a, sco a scoop of vanilla ice cream and maybe some spiced pecans on top of that would be really delicious. But Caramel maybe, sauce if you're really getting crazy. But maybe, but maybe not for a little. Little kids, yeah, that's a little bit too much. So let's see what you think about the flavor. You can pick it up like a piece of pizza and eat it if you want, Frankie. A how? Here, watch. Take a bite. Oh, that's not how we. Is that how we do it? Okay, let's do it the way we do it then. 
There you go. I like eating your pieces. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting. Mm -mm. Okay, wait, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. So that we got a thumbs up. So, I mean, that was an easy one. And I think everybody could make it. So I'm going to go and tell my mom. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get a hug before you go. So thank you for helping me. It's really a good, a good thing that we get to do this together. All right, go see your mom. I'm done.